Hey guys, what's up? So in the video of today, I'm going to show you how to get good vocals using this guy with the Roland Cube Street X. So let's start saying that what you should really know first is what are the sounds that your ears like. So I made a research and I found that in the National Library of Medicine, which is a website of the National Center for Biotechnology Information, I found an abstract and it says that 205 subjects each chose a most pleasant sound delivered through an earphone by turning the control knob on a continuously variable audio oscillator. Most subjects chose a frequency in a relatively narrow band centered on 399 Hz. The preferences did not appear to be influenced by sex or age. So from this research it looks like that humans really like mid-low frequencies and they don't really like uh, high frequencies. So we really like sounds that are around the 400 Hz frequency. So this frequency is in the mid-low frequency, okay? But this makes sense because do you prefer more a baby crying for one hour? Or do you prefer more a uh, pleasant uh, piano sound for one hour? So I also download an app to analyze the frequency of some sounds, so I'm going to show you the frequency of a baby crying. You can easily see that uh, a baby crying has an average frequency uh, above uh, a thousand hertz, while a pleasant piano sound uh, has an average frequency between um, 100 Hz and uh, 1000 Hz. So if a baby is crying, you pay attention to the baby, while if a baby would cry like how a pleasant piano sounds, you wouldn't pay that much attention to a baby, right? So when you are busking on the street, uh, what you should achieve is uh, a mid-low frequency that comes out from your amp. And this is one part of achieving a good sound in your amp for the people who is listening while you are performing. The other part of having a good uh, sound from the amp is to have a proper microphone for the amp. You wanna only capture your voice, right? You don't wanna capture what someone is saying in front of you or if there are other sounds uh, in front of you. You just want to capture the sound that comes from your voice. So what is good to have for a busking performance is to have a cardioid microphone. And the microphone that I recommend you to have is the Shure SM58. It's really really good also for bands because of his polar pattern. Like this microphone captures only the sounds that are in front of the microphone and not the sounds that come from behind. This is the polar pattern of an omnidirectional microphone, which is not the best at all for busking because it would capture all the sounds from the surroundings in your busking spots. And this is the polar pattern of uh, an eight-figure uh, microphone, which is just uh, like having two cardio microphones in two directions. So this is not the best also because uh, it would capture also the sounds that are in front of you. So what you really need is to have a microphone that captures only your voice and uh, the Shure SM58 uh, I think is the best uh, microphone that you can get. There are many cardio microphones but uh, I recommend this because this is the one that I used for a long time for more than four or five years and it's still working great. So having these two things in mind to achieve a low mid frequency with your amp which is a pleasant sound uh, for the audience you should use the knobs in this way, which is the way that I equalize my amp usually. When I go to equalize the amp for a busking set, what I do is to boost the bass, so the low frequency, like this. Then I keep down the mid frequency and then I boost also the high frequencies. So the high frequencies will give you presence for the voice. 
while the, the bass frequencies, so the low frequencies, will give you that sound that uh, is pleasant uh, for a year to listen. This is the equalization that I always use when I am busking. I try to put the mid uh, like this because I don't want to add too much punch to the voice and uh, it's mostly the same thing for the guitar. I boost uh, the low frequency, I boost a bit of the high frequency and the mid frequency it depends on the type of song so like if you are finger picking and you want to add more punch to the guitar you just tour up uh, the mid frequency but if you are strumming a lot in the song I will turn down the mid frequency some reverb for the voice some reverb for the guitar the volume depends where you are and that's pretty much it a little bit of delay and these are my settings for the voice and for the guitar. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's not that difficult to get uh, good vocals from the amp if you know these things. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you wanna see more content like this about Buskin, please consider to subscribe to the channel and to like the video because this will really help me to improve the quality of the videos in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys with the next video. Bye!